The first ever KUAM Holiday Bake Off with four of the culinary program's best and brightest. So let's get right to it and find out a little bit more about our competitors. My name is Mary Oliveros. I'm 20 years old. I've been in the GCC Culinary Arts program for two and a half years. And the dessert I will be preparing for the holiday bake-off will be San Serval, which is a Filipino dessert. Um, I will be making the smaller version, which is called Silvanas. And um, to my fellow competitors, uh, I got you. If you need any help at all, I'm always here. And hopefully, the help will be reciprocated. So. Today, my name is Cheyenne Bobadilla, and it is my second year in the GCC Culinary Arts program. I will be preparing crinkles and French macarons, and to my fellow competitors, be prepared. <laughs> Hello, half a day, it's your boy Jude Velasco. Um, I've been studying for like two years and I'm gonna be doing the Christmas gingerbread cupcakes. And to my fellow competitors, you guys better watch out because I'm gonna be bringing the heat, yo. Hi, my name is Celine. I am a first year culinary student. I am 20 years old and for this competition I am making a Bouche de Noël or a Christmas log cake to Mary, Cheyenne and Jude. Batter up because I'm about to hit a home run. As our four top student chefs mentioned, Mary, Cheyenne, Jude and Celine are all enrolled in the Guam Community College's Culinary Arts Program led by Chef Paul Kerner and Chef Bertrand Holleron. Our competitors have two hours to prepare their sweet treats with all of the ingredients for our bake-off provided by Payless Markets, your home for the holidays. Our judges for the competition, Master Chef and Consultant Yosef Boud, High end pastry chef El Saeed El Akanai and Lote pastry chef Myra Tiamzon. The student chefs are being judged on sanitation, safety practices, mise en place, application of skills, creativity, presentation, eye appeal, taste, texture, and flavor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are seconds away from starting our first ever KUM holiday. Bake Off here at the Guam Community College Culinary Program. Are you guys ready? Yes. All right, fire up your ovens, begin! <laughs> All right, we'll be back with more of our first ever KUAM Holiday Bake Off next.
Smiling is a natural response to joy, happiness, and excitement. Your smile reveals a lot about who you are. A healthy, beautiful smile can brighten your appearance and be an invitation to conversation and friendship. It is often one of the first things people notice about you. Now, thanks to the advancements in dentistry, you can have the smile you have always wanted, giving you an improved smile that looks and feels great. My silver fillings that I have, they're getting older in my mouth and I need to replace them. So I've started to do that and I've replaced them with the white fillings and I've had really great success with that. It looks good, they feel natural, and it kind of goes hand in hand with the bleaching. I want my, a white look all around my mouth. Welcome back. Man, I wish you could smell what these students are cooking. There's nothing like the smell of pastries in the morning, and our KUAM Holiday Bake Off is in full swing. Um, it's so nerve-wracking, but it's so exciting. Chef Ira, tell us a little bit about the judging criteria. Okay, so the, uh, the judging criteria, we're looking at Lisa Plus. It's how they um, do their uh, preparation. And then also the use of ingredients, which is the theme for this time is holiday. And then we're also looking at the sanitation, the cleanliness of how they work here, uh, within their station. And so all of that is uh, really on the technical side. Yes. How big of um, a factor is that in the final scores? Actually, the final score will depend on taste mostly. So the taste is the most um, points, and then the rest will just, it's just a little bit of each. It's a little pressuring when people are watching. As I pipe, it's usually, I'm usually so calm. Now that it's competition, it's kind of, so it's, it's completely different. Chef Al Saeed, uh, tell us, do you like what you're seeing so far? Yeah, of course, you know, there's more energy, you know, the kids also or the students, they have more power and interesting to work. So it's very interesting for me. And uh, what do you make of the technical side of things, uh, the skill set, you know, the sanitation and uh, the uh, orderly orderliness of their stations? Yeah, they do great, you know, so they follow the process and they follow the GCC standards. But my ginger bread is tough. I got this, yo. <laughs> uh, Chef Joseph, I know that uh, you've been a student yourself at, at one point in your uh, career. So tell us, uh, where do you think uh, the students here at GCC are when you watch what they're doing? You know, it really brings back very good memories and. Uh, the students here came off to a very, very good start, I must say. They came great out of the gate. And I think all of these young people who joined this competition, they're here to win. You know, they want to win, they want to be showing off their skill. And uh, I think Christmas is such a special time because every country has their own beautiful pastries and cookies. And I think. Uh, what we see so far here today, we have a very good diversity of things. And I must say, uh, the confidence level, I feel, is very good. And they are a lot more confident 
than I was in my days when I started off. So, <laughs> compliment to Chef Paul and Chef Vatron how they give them this uh, confidence. Plus, you know, seeing all these people around and being photographed and filmed and interviewed, that doesn't help their level of uh, being nervous. But so far, everyone is observing the hygiene standard, the safety standard, so I'm happy to see how they're performing so far. Let's Thank see you. how it goes. trying to finish what I need to do or in my head it's like it's okay but outside I'm like ah. <laughs> Down to the wire, the clock is ticking. Time is almost up, the moment these students have been training so hard for. The presentation of their KUA of Holiday Bake Off desserts to the judges, that's next. Here's to the flavorful. Those unafraid to show their signature style, signature moves, signature everything. You add the spice that makes life interesting. So to you, we raise a sandwich as flavorful as you are for McDonald's signature crafted recipes. Try the new savory creamy mushroom and Swiss burger, part of the signature crafted recipes lineup, only at McDonald's. Matson is in this community. We've been in this community for decades. We're going to be in this community for decades to come. Things will get busy, things will get quiet, but we're going to be here. We're your hometown carrier. And that matters to us. Reliability is the core of our business. We take pride in ensuring that we arrive in Guam on time as scheduled. It's our local employees who understand the market, who understand the business, and provide that hard work for you each and every day. When we hold ourselves to high standards, our customers also hold us to high standards. We establish good business relationships that turn into friendships. That's why it's so important to be here and be trusted by your customers. We want you to trust Matson like your friend, like your family. Be merry, be bright, and make shopping all right with holiday gift cards from Chuck E. Cheese's Guam, Ruby Tuesday, and King's Restaurants. Receive special offers with every purchase for extra holiday happiness. See stores for details and have fun this season from all of us at the GFS Group. And now the moment we've all been waiting for with the KUAM Holiday Bake Off. The presentation of the dishes to our judges. Hello, holiday chefs. I'm Julia Velasco from Cycle 16. So today I made a Christmas gingerbread cupcakes with uh, cream cheese. part of your, um, your gingerbread. gingerbread cupcake. 
It actually tastes like the gingerbread cookie, but in a cupcake form. So that's what I like about it. And then your cream cheese added a little bit more um, flavor to um, your cupcake. It's just, for me, it's a little bit too sweet, but um, the, the taste-wise, it's there. So if you say it's gingerbread cupcake or gingerbread cake, it tastes like a gingerbread cake. So good job on that one. Yeah. I think you did uh, good work here. Uh, again, probably, you know, f in our days, people really don't want too sweet. And especially, um, you know, the younger generation, they may look at it and I would think uh, if you cut back one third on your sugar, you still have a good... Uh, I like the ginger flavor coming through. The sponge is light. What I would have liked to see you uh, done better is your piping skill. You could have done a better job on piping it or the selection of your tube would have been uh, the little star on top, I like it too, very good. What I really like to comment about, originally on your presentation you had four, but then you had the inspiration to do it five. And I think this is a much better number to present. Never present four, five, seven, eight, all this looks better. You worked very steady, and I think in the beginning you had a bit of challenges with the uh, getting the uh, cream cheese smooth enough, but you came through and yeah, congratulations. Thank you, Chef. First of all, you know, thank you, the, the good flavor. And then for my side, as the chef says, you know, this very sweet. And then the cream supposed to be more sweet, more soft and smooth, because when you buy it, you should have nice shape. And then, you know, the, the cupcake, yeah, the flavor is there. But for me, it's a little bit, you know, harder. Should be soft, the cupcake, you know. Because you make a cupcake, it's not cookies. So, yes. And then, you know, when you buy it, also you have, yeah, you should more study when you buy it. Uh, and then also the, the star, when you bought it, you know, it's thick. When you make it, the star is thick, you know, it's this different game, you know, to do it. Maybe 10 and we're getting more high to get the presentation as the Christmas stuff. Yeah, otherwise, yes, it's good, you know, for me, overall good. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Hi, good morning. Today, my name is Celine Clemente. I am from Cycle 17. And what I have for you is a Christmas vlog cake. Um, it's made out of a chocolate chiffon cake and a cookies and cream cheese filling. On the outside, I used a cream cheese frosting to pipe and brushed it with chocolate ganache. And next to it, I have two different types of meringue cookies. I have a mushroom and a kiss form. The style, how you worked, you worked very swift, very clean. And I think you uh, probably work in the pastry department. Is that? what you do now because you have a, a very good uh, style how you presented your sponge cake you did everything from scratch which was uh, for the time given well done even like they do in France before you add your uh, your stuffing you brush off the outer side which is uh, the way to go you added a little bit extra crunch with the pieces of chocolate to it. Unfortunately, unfortunately, your chocolate presentation didn't work because of the humidity in this room. You should have known that, you know, as a pastry person. However, the try of doing it, and I saw you really trying hard to get the shape and the chocolate temperature correct, so the little touches of the uh, meringue mushrooms, well done. Color combination here, nothing to say. A little bit extra sparkle on the, uh, on the plate. The portion size also is something I would feel very comfortable with. Well done, thank you. Thank you, Chef. 
For me, um, the reason why I asked you earlier if you added uh, sugar to the cream cheese is because mm -hmm. I think it's lacking a little bit of sweetness. I taste a lot of the cream cheese, but I don't taste it like with a little bit of sugar. Um, but when you eat the whole thing with the inside, also with the um, your cookies, it tastes really good. So uh, I give you props for trying. Even if your chocolate work didn't um, work out, uh, you still put it there and um, you try. It. And uh, we see that. And presentation-wise, it's really clean. Um, all the components are there, and it looks Christmassy for me. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, first of all, good job. Thank you for that. And then uh, let's. I have a little bit, you know, small comment about this thing. Yeah, first of all, as Chef said, you know, it's less sugar. So when you eat it, you not feel sweet. So you can feel all the cheese when you eat it. And then sponge also is dry. It's supposed to be good sugar syrup to make the balance. Whatever, you know. Uh, and then, yeah, and then the, 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 the presentation of the plate, you know, it's not really clean well around. So what I see here, you know, it's dirty around the plate. So next time, you know, make sure when you beat it, make sure that the plate is clean and do it. Yeah, the meringue also, it's, it's not crunchy, it's chewy, you know. It's supposed to be meringue, maybe the oven, maybe you have small time, but what I see here, the meringue is chewy, it's not crunchy. So it's supposed to be meringue, you know, when you make it, it's chewy. And then when you see, it's unbaked inside. Uh, that chocolate, if you are not sure to work with the chocolate, you know, so yeah, maybe you can make sprinkle or you shaving. I know, maybe you want to make something shape or the chocolate. So if you want to do it first time, if you want to do it the chocolate, so don't do it the chocolate. So make it something you are really confident what you do. The rest is fine, you know. Thank you for your play. Halfway chefs, what I have present to you is my chocolate crinkles and French macarons with peppermint buttercream. First of all, thank you for your plating. It's amazing. Yeah, but you know you make it chocolate. Uh, this is supposed to be, you know, hard from outside and then soft inside. But what I feel here, this is, you know, it's for me, it's over big. See what you see? It's supposed to be crunchy and then inside soft, like the chocolate fudge. Mm -hmm. Chocolate fudge cookies, when you eat it, it's really, you can melt in your mouth. And then the French macaron, the butter, you know, it's nice with the mint, you know, and then get more flavor. But the French macaron is supposed to be, you know, it's soft. It's not hard. See what we have? It's very, very hard. Very hard. So, yeah, again, this competition, you know, when you make it something, you should be more confident in what you do. You need to give yourself hard time, and then, you know, the end of the resort will not really good. Yeah, but good to try to do this kind of thing. But again, you know, uh, when you make it, you know, the French macaron, supposed to be, you know, that the shell is soft inside. The shell is, is, is really crunchy. Soft will be inside the soft. With the cream or the chocolate ganache or whatever you want to do it. So when you eat it all, you can melt in your mouth. This is the original, the French macaron. But otherwise, yeah, it's good. It's a good idea. You make it, you know, macaron in the spot. So it's, it's a great, it's a great idea. For my side, you know, it's, it's a good challenge. Very good challenge what you do there. And you try to time. So yes. it's great. Yeah, it's a great time. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, I think... Um, Cheyenne, I like the way you started off your work. Uh, basically, you went through the trouble to do all the markings on your baking paper. And I think this is a, a result that you have very even uh, product here. I would have liked to see a little bit larger in comparing to the large cookie here. However, Next time, please try to remember, if you just spray your baking sheet with a non-stick agent, you have a, a much easier job to remove them from your baking paper. Again, you did all the right things there, like uh, making sure they settle well, 
uh, the macaron, like Chef mentioned, they are uh, they still look pretty th smooth, and I think this is what you want to achieve. Um, I would have liked to recommend for this. Um, I'm sorry, the name of this crinkles. is? Crinkles. Crinkles. Yeah. To give it a little bit of touch of uh, Christmas or the season, you could have maybe added some cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, ginger, ginger some, spice. some spice, to give it a bit more of a Christmas flavor. But again, all together, I think, uh, Thank you for your, uh, for your hard work. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Shane. Um, Hi, when I uh, looked at your, your product, crinkles look like crinkles. Macarons look like macarons. But um, it's just the texture of it is the one that's lacking. Um, like what Chef El Said said, um, the crinkles are supposed to be um, crunchy on the outside but soft in the inside um, and then also I give you props because your your macarons actually have feet on them that's the the small stuff that's that means it's baked properly but I just think it's a little bit too overbaked because it's also crunchy in the inside okay uh, the color is there it looks like a peppermint um, so I, I give you that um, also um, I think you just have to work on just the presentation, okay? But good job. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Good morning, chefs. My name is Mary Oliveros. Today what I have for you are Silvanas. It's a Filipino dessert that's um, it's usually made in Christmas and it's not commonly found here on Guam. So I wanted to bring that today. Um, uh, so what, I, what it is is um, two meringue cookies. Um, it's, si it's similar to the French macaron, but this one uses cashews. So that sandwiches buttercream, and um, buttercream also covers it, and it's um, dredged in sweet biscuit. Please enjoy. I'm not so sure about the presentation if a little touch of green for the season would have been probably sufficient you at the end you choose three pieces i think that always makes a better presentation but good try you worked very clean and i think there was something about your station after everything was finished, you made sure that the station was just as you found it in the beginning. So, well done. Thank you. Hey, Mary, I actually grew up eating these during the holidays. Okay. Um, but uh, typically, Sylvanias are white. Yeah. And I, I think you just added a little bit of the green so it can be inspired mm -hmm. with the uh, Christmas. Yeah. With the um, taste wise, it tastes like Sylvanias. Uh, with the texture wise, I think it just needs a little bit of the um, uh, setting time so it's, it can be a little bit chewy. Because right now, it's, uh, I taste a lot of crunch. And mostly, Sylvanias are chewy and they taste. You can taste a lot of the, um, the cashews. Uh, the cashews is there, the taste is there. Um, it looks like a Sylvanias. Yeah, thank you. And I think also I'd like to comment you uh, on the fact that you try to do something local Christmas. And I think that's a, it's a very good try. Thank you, Mary. Well, for my side, you know, first of all, thank you for the plating. I know what you did there. So for me, you know, the color, let's go first of the color. Color is very, you know, you need the less color, you know. And then the, the between the, the sponge, you know, as chef say, you know, supposed to be this one chewy and the casual not more flavor. But what I see here when I eat, you know, I feel all the butter, not 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 nothing else. See how, how much butter we have. It's too much butter. So when you feel you can eat piece of butter, 
it's not cookies. And then, you know, we are, our team here, we have the Christmas, so we can add more Christmas stuff, maybe gingerbread Christmas, you know, nutmeg or, or whatever. So, but overall, you know, good job. Thank you. Who's gonna win? Who's the sweetest one in the batch? We'll find out next on the KUAM Holiday Bake Off. Guam's auto appearance specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's auto appearance specialist. Over 20 years of experience. Are you interested in a healthier lifestyle? Lose weight and feel great with the Boca Box. Guam's first nutritionally sound meal prep service and healthy cafe. They offer fresh and healthy meals to support your lifestyle. Choose from any of our paleo, keto, low calorie, active performance, or specialized macro meal plans to help you reach your goals. Give us a call at 922-BOCA, that's 922-2652, or visit our cafe in Agania to learn more about our holiday specials going on right now. The Boca Box, real nutrition made daily. What's the half day pledge? It's a promise to share a half day spirit and to protect our culture. Like, say, and half a day! Home ground! It also means promising to keep our island clean. Like cleaning up the beach? That sounds so easy. It is. Anyone can sign up, even kids just like us. Sign up! It's easy! Moms and dads call the Guam Visitors Bureau and sign your kid up to take the pen. All kids get certificates, bags, and can enjoy culture activities at the signing ceremony. We are Half a Day Pledge Kids, and you can be too! This year is rapidly coming to an end, and the big finish is now on at Cars Plus and Mighty. Get big year-end deals on a big selection of new Ram trucks with savings up to $10,500. Or save up to $5,500 on a new Chrysler Pacifica. How about a new Jeep Compass? Save up to $5,000. With financing as low as 1.99%. Plus, receive a Cars Plus Shell Value Card with every vehicle purchase. The big finish means big savings right now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. I'm A1C Kichicho Sierra with the Guam Air National Guard 254 Security Forces Squadron, currently deployed in Southwest Asia. I'd like to wish my fiance, parents, friends, sisters, family and friends, and everyone on Guam a happy holidays. I miss you all and I can't wait to be home. These special season greetings from our troops are brought to you locally by companies bringing families together this holiday season. it -me, Shell, Foodies, and the KUAM Communications. Welcome back to the KUAM Holiday Bake Off. What a competition. And right off the bat, I just really want to thank the Guam Community College and their culinary program. Of course, the Micronesian Chefs Association and Payless for making the KUM Holiday Bake Off a success. Let's get right to it, Chef Paul. And the winner is... First of all, I'd like to congratulate all of you. And you guys are all winners, but there is only one winner. And the winner is... Celine Clemente. Celine, tough competition. Uh, How does it feel to come out on top? Um, I didn't expect it, <laughs> but it feels good, yeah. You need a tissue? No, no I don't. <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it was a great competition, you know, again, uh, to our judges, I'm pretty sure that our uh, best and brightest here at the GCC Culinary Program uh, learned a lot today, and the takeaway is I gained about five pounds uh, tasting all those holiday uh, treats. So thank you so much for watching the K-Way of Holiday Bake Off. Until next time, my name's Chris. Hasta adios. Adios.